Another beautiful lesson we learn uh, from the experience of the Hijrah of the Prophet وسلم, is that a Muslim acts based on principle and not whim or passion. Look at the Prophet Here is a man who has endured such difficult and harsh treatment for 13 years. 13 years of persecution. 13 years of torture. 13 years of, of plotting and deception. And subhanAllah, he would be fighting with these people in the morning and at night, they would come and stand at his, door, his doorstep and bring some of their most uh, valuable and, and, and precious possessions and give them to the Prophet ﷺ as a trust. Imagine that. His foes would come to his house at night and give them their jewelry, give them their money, give them some of their most important possessions and say, Ya Muhammad, we know that you are the most trust, trustworthy person in this town and, and we cannot trust anyone else, so please keep these things with you. And the Prophet accepts that. And then these people go home, sleep, wake up in the morning and continue the plotting against the same man that they have trusted at night. SubhanAllah. What amazes me, it's not just the fact that they trust their enemy with their possessions, but the fact that Muhammad actually accepted the trust. That he accepted this trust. And, and, and think about it, you know, the people in Mecca, they did not leave, live in, in, in nice beautiful homes. Those homes were not very secure. So when you take that trust, you want to make sure that you put that trust in a nice safe and you put it somewhere where it is inaccessible to people. But that was not the case. I mean, the houses were not really that safe. They were, they were not that secure. But, but still, the Prophet ﷺ accepted those trusts and accepted that burden upon his shoulders because the Prophet ﷺ lived by those principles, brothers and sisters. He lived by those principles and he implemented them. And it's amazing. When he left and with Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, he leaves Ali ibn Abi Talib in, in his bed. And some of the scholars say that he did that in order to, to create an impression, a false impression to the villains standing outside the house that, that he is still in bed. But the majority of the scholars say it was the Prophet Wasallam's attempt to make sure that Ali ibn Abi Talib returns the trusts to the very people that were trying to kill him. You think that Muhammad changed the world because he was a good statesman? You think that Muhammad changed the world because he was an economic planner? You think he changed the world because he was a social reformer or a great military strategist? Muhammad وسلم, changed the world because of his compassion. Because he was not a man who acted based on whim, on passion, on retaliation. He would never react to people. He would always be proactive and, and deciding in, in his actions based on his own principles, not the other person's principles. When you retaliate, you are automatically adopting the other person's principles. That is what it is. Listen to what the Quran says, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayuha alladheena amanu, kunu qawwameena lillahi shuhada'a bil qist. Again, he addresses the believers. O you who believe, stand up firmly for Allah and be witnesses to justice and fair dealing. How can you be a witness for justice if you do not practice justice yourself? And then he says, وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا SubhanAllah. Do not let the hatred, do not let the injustice of others swerve you from performing and doing justice yourselves. So even at times when it is, it is justified to retaliate, it is justified to commit injustice against, against others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not let that happen. Because you should be acting based on your own principles, principles of goodness, principles of justice. Imagine if every Muslim acted this way, imagine how fast we can transform the world. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless each and every one of us to increase our iman, to strengthen our hearts, to discipline our character, and to help us walk in the footsteps of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And I ask Allah to bless each and every one of you on this auspicious occasion of celebrating hijrah. And, 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 kullu amin wa antum bi khayr. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your good deed. And jazakum Allah khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.